What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're talking about a very common area of pain, which is mid-back or thoracic pain. And we're talking about specifically this area right here in between your shoulder blades and the middle of your spine. So there's this kind of trench of muscles that runs right here. Our rhomboids are there, our middle trapezius muscle, our thoracic joints, and the joints where our ribs hook to our spine. So if you have pain in that area, stay tuned for today's exercises. All right, for our first exercise, we are gonna perform a myofascial release of the rhomboids and middle trapezius, all those muscles in that mid scapular area. What I've done here is a great simple tool you can do at home here. Just take a tennis ball, put it inside a long sock. This allows you to position the ball. You can kind of throw it over your shoulder and position it in the painful areas. Sometimes if you just have the ball against the wall, it falls and it's just annoying. So what you do is just throw this over and then find those, kind of line it up with the spots where you think your pain is and then push in against the wall. And as soon as I'll put my feet out from the wall a little bit and just lean on the ball, and I'm looking for those tender spots where my pain commonly occurs and you'll find them right when you get on a spot, it actually feels really good. And we're just basically working on releasing those tight muscles. So you're just gonna hang out there for a second, take a few deep breaths and then move, you know, maybe an inch or two until you, like I've got a good one right there and just hang out again for a minute. This is one of my favorite techniques for this. I've had rib and muscle injuries in this area from jujitsu and grappling in the past. And this is just a, common spot of tightness for me. So I do this one uh, probably every day, every other day. Um, so it's just one of my common spots and I use this technique all the time against the wall. It's one of the, the best strategies for releasing the muscle. So we're gonna start with this, a myofascial release. You can do this every day, hang out for you know a few minutes just rolling through the area. And then in the next exercises, we'll mobilize and stretch the thoracic spine and then end with a strengthening and activation exercise for those muscles. For our second exercise, we're gonna mobilize the soft tissues of the thoracic spine, but more importantly, focus on the thoracic joints and ribs. A lot of people, uh, when I look at them in the clinic and evaluate them who have pain in that area, uh, rhomboid kind of middle trapezius area, are often really stiff in their thoracic spine. And the thoracic spine, you might remember, has a sort of outward curve. We call this a kyphosis. Our neck and our low back curve inwardly and have a lower dosis. Our thoracic spine goes the opposite direction, has a kyphosis. So people, you know, just naturally will find ourselves in kind of a rounded position in our mid back. So for this mobilization, we're gonna use a foam roller to basically kind of reverse that curve and mobilize the thoracic spine into extension and this often really helps people with pain between the shoulder blades. It might even cause your spine to pop a little bit and release, and that's okay if that happens. So what you're gonna do is put that roller down the ground. You want it to run perpendicular to the direction of your spine. I'm gonna sit in front of it, kind of hold on to it and sit back. And then what you're gonna do is once you're in position, you're gonna kind of roll to where you maybe feel your painful spot or feel some tightness. You're gonna put your hands behind your head and then arch backwards and I get some pops already doing this right here. So you can go back and it just feels like a really good stretch in my thoracic spine. And then when that, I've done that spot for, you know, maybe five, 10 seconds, I'm gonna roll just a little bit to a new one, maybe a half inch or an inch up or down my spine. And then again, arch back into thoracic extension. Okay, so just work that through the different spots. We're working on improving thoracic extension mobility and this often, like I say, is really helpful for reducing pain, especially in that mid thoracic region. For this third exercise, we're gonna look at stretching the thoracic spine into rotation. Our spine moves in flexion, extension, side bend, and rotation. The thoracic spine is kind of unique in that it really helps contribute to rotation of our spine. And this is where often where people will find restrictions when they're tight. So what we wanna do We've just mobilized the thoracic spine with the foam roller. Now we're gonna stretch it with a movement. So you're gonna do this on both sides. I'm just gonna show one, but basically you're gonna lay on your side. You're gonna pull your knees up so that your hips are about 90 degrees. This will kind of take your low back out of the picture so that we're targeting our mid back. Okay, so I'm gonna take my bottom arm and kind of hold my knees down to kind of keep my legs there. I'm gonna reach up and then I'm gonna 
reach back with this top arm until I feel kind of tightness and a restriction. You'll notice it gets a little harder for me to breathe. You'll notice as you get to a tight spot, and you can let your head rest, as you get to a tight spot, it will become harder to breathe. And this is the way you can kind of assess yourself side to side. Look at how far you can rotate. How far can this shoulder get? How close can it get to the ground? And how severely is your breathing affected? And I know for myself, I'm asymmetrical one side to the other. And asymmetry is not always bad. It can be a way to sort of find mobility impairments. So what you're going to do is hold here, take a few deep breaths. Maybe you're here for 10 to 15 seconds. Then you can come back up. I like to do this a few times, maybe three to five times. Go back, hold again, just let that stretch. And it's another one of these ones that when you have pain in the middle part of your back, this usually feels pretty good. So do three to five reps of it, and then go to the other side and try that side. All right, our last exercise here is gonna be the only one that's focused on activating, strengthening, and contracting the muscles between the shoulder blades. Our rhomboids and middle, tre middle trapezius are mainly involved in retracting our shoulder blades, sort of pulling them together. So that's what we're gonna work on. So I've got a bench here. This is usually the best because you can do both arms at the same time, but if you don't have something like this, you could do one arm at a time off the side of your bed, for instance. So what I'm gonna do is lay on my stomach with my head at the end, okay? Like this, I'm gonna kind of keep my head off the end and just kind of hold it in a neutral position. My arms are gonna go out to the side and I'm gonna lead with my thumbs up. And basically what I'm gonna do, this is called a prone T because my body's gonna look like a T. I'm gonna bring my arms up. This is into horizontal abduction. And I'm gonna squeeze my shoulder blades together. Don't let them come up like you're shrugging. Kinda keep them down and squeeze together. Okay, so this is gonna work. All of our scapular retractors mainly focused on our rhomboids and middle trapezius, right in that area where we have pain. So we're sort of activating those muscles and strengthening them, which will just give stability to the shoulder complex overall. This is one of these ones, because it's more of a strengthening exercise, start off with maybe just one set of 10 Sometimes when people have myofascial pain, if you do too many strengthening exercises, it can flare your pain up. Okay, so I always tell people, just start with one set, see how it goes, wait till you see how, see how you are the next day. If your pain's worse, then that may be all you can stick with. Maybe you gotta do it every other day. If you're fine, then maybe add another set to it and work on gradually exposing your system to that type of load. So, all right, you guys, those are our four exercises for mid-back, rib, rhomboid, trapezius, region-type pain. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section, and I will see you next time. Bye.